Hey guys, Hash here, and we're going to do a quick video on the key bindings of Overwatch. Now the beauty about Overwatch is that there's not too many keys to worry about, and you don't really have that many things to do. All you have to do is manage your two abilities, your ultimate, and a primary secondary fire, so you don't need a whole bunch of keys, um, which means that you should be applying keys that you can hit very easily without uh, removing your fingers from the movement keys. What I've done is I put left shift on ability 1 since you don't sprint in this game uh, unless you're soldier 76 which is his ability 1 so left shift uh, usually coincides with movement uh, abilities if a person has them so it's a good idea to have that as shift just to keep muscle memory and then obviously mouse 4 is really accessible for ability 2 you don't have to uh, use another keyboard key for that Ability 3 I've put as left alt uh, that's your ultimate ability so you're not going to be hitting this all the time Primary and secondary fire I've left as the default, left and right click, pretty easy to use. Uh, one thing I did change was next weapon, previous weapon, they always have these on scrolling. Uh, that kind of leaves, depending on your mouse wheel, a bit of a guesswork on where you're going to land sometimes, especially in, if you're freaking out because someone's on top of you. So uh, I put equip weapon 1 as scroll up and equip weapon 2 as scroll down, so there's never any confusion. Melee I've put on backslash, which is what I've bound one of my mouse uh, keys to. That's for quick access, which is really helpful. Uh, reload, as always, I put on mouse 5, which is the forward button on the side of your mouse. Uh, again, so you're not hitting R all the time, and which stops you from being able to uh, strafe right at the same time. Now we see the communication section. Uh, all chat I have is J and K is team chat. That's just a kind of a carryover from Battlefield. You can use pretty much whatever you want at this point for these things. I recommend the communication menu on Q though. Uh, if you do use this, you don't need a button for all these. You don't need a hard binding because this is a is actually one of the best choice wheel that I've seen done in a game. It's very uh, reactive and it does not feel sluggish at all. Uh, open chat, enter, and yeah, all the rest of these are pretty much the default. Uh, and then obviously put voice chat push to talk to whatever you usually use for that. Then we have the spectate section. Uh, this probably not a lot of people are going to use, but I just left it all as defaults. So I haven't changed anything in there. And then in miscellaneous, we have uh, a few keys that I have changed, but they're not super important. They're not going to be a life or death thing, but we have uh, hero information, which can be helpful when you're first starting out. I've rebound to C. Hero select, I've rebound to R since I'm not using it for reload. And scoreboard is another button on my mouse uh, that I've rebound to this bracket. Uh, you can use scoreboard to check who on the other team is dead at the time. So it can actually be pretty useful information. It pretty much sums up all the keys. Um, the next really cool thing that Blizzard has done is you can actually do specific bindings for specific characters. So, for example, uh, most of the time I use short crosshairs, but on Hanzo, because he uses a bow and he has a, a special crosshair that allows you to kind of calculate uh, the drop of the arrow, you can set his to, like I have here, his default, which actually gives you that thing. So you can do each person differently. It, there's also actually some hidden uh, settings that you can only see if you do select per hero. So this is one for Hanzo, automatically climb walls. You can turn that on. Uh, I don't recommend it because it can kind of screw you up in game if you hold space by default that's when you will climb walls but if you put this on he'll just automatically do it whenever you run into one so it can be kind of annoying and yeah it can definitely mess you up uh, the other people will go really quick over who has them Genji also has automatically climb walls Junkrat has automatically climb walls but it's for his ultimate the rip tire again I recommend leaving it off Lucio has hold the crossfade this will leave healing on by default and when you hold the uh, ability button which for me and you if you're using these keybinds would be shift it'll actually move it into movement speed as long as you hold it down which is kind of like a sprint and it also causes everyone around you to sprint you can leave that on you can put that to on if you want it does help I find mercy has a few uh, toggle beam connection is helpful I've turned that one on it allows you to just left or right click and the beam will stay constant and I also recommend turning uh, the Guardian Angel prefers beam target off. This allows you to uh, pick who you want to fly to and not have it always jump to the one that you're using your beam on. Reinhardt, you can toggle his barrier, but again, I would recommend leaving this off as you kind of want to be able to drop it quickly. Soldier 76 uh, shows allied health bars. Him and Zarya is the other one that has this. This is really helpful because they both 
Ozari has a shield that can protect people, so you can see when their health is low and then protect them in, in bad situations. With uh, Hero 76, you can actually heal them using your healing ability, so it's good to see when people are low on your team. Widowmaker has a relative aim sensitivity setting for her when she's scoped in on her sniper rifle, which can be really helpful to uh, hit that sweet spot that you're used to in other games uh, as for scoping in. If you want, you can even put it to 100, and then it'll be the same sensitivity uh, as if you weren't zoomed in. Here's Zarya. As I said, allied health bar, she has the option as well. And that's it. So it's a pretty quick video. I just wanted to show you guys what I think is the best keybind setup so that you're able to use all your abilities and traverse the environment without having to uh, take your fingers off the movement keys which keeps you mobile and keeps you alive so hope this helps some of you I know it's kinda basic and most people can figure this out but I thought I'd uh, make a video about it just to, just in case somebody if this did help you guys out in any way please do like and let me know and thanks for watching we'll see you later